closing stages of the Dubai World Cup run in May of this year, Cigar had to fight hard to hold off stole of the matter. Cigar, of course, had had a troublesome foot injury. He'd missed a fair bit of work, and he had to show all of his great fighting qualities to win that one. And it's an elated jockey, Jerry Bailey, as he comes back to scale after having beaten the world's best, including our great Australian horse, Dane Wynn, who finished a mile back. Now we have a special profile coming up on the American Wonder Horse and it's important to remember that this was put together by CBS shortly before the recent Arlington Citation Challenge. He looks like an ordinary horse and in the early stages of his racing career he was. But racing fans eventually would come to learn that Cigar was extraordinary. His turf pedigree said he should take to the grass, but after just one win and 11 tries, a magical transformation took place with the decision to race on the dirt, and a streak was born. We were very discouraged, and each turf race became a little worse and a little worse. And before we'd run him, we thought, well, maybe we've got a horse for the Breeders' Cup Mile, which is run on the turf. And after running him two or three times, it looked like we were going nowhere. So uh, it finally got to be September and fall of the year, and we thought, well, uh, we're running out of turf races anyway. Let's just go ahead and, and give him a try on the dirt. And uh, the difference was just amazing. And Cigar running a monstrous race today to win the Naira Mile. <laughs> all challenges in America and abroad, Cigar has won 15 straight races, bringing new excitement to thoroughbred fans and breathing new life into the sport of kings. I think Dubai's race was a prime example of a horse's heart and courage and will to win. He had missed some training, he had a coming off a foot injury, and he still found whatever it takes to win. I've never seen a horse like him. And I talked to a lot of trainers and people have been around him for years and they all say the same thing. He's the greatest save I've ever seen. Well, there are those who think Citation was the greatest they've ever seen. He owns the modern-day record of 16 consecutive victories, a streak which included the 1948 Triple Crown. It is his ghost that Cigar chases. The streak means a lot to racing. What does it mean to you? I think having done it will mean a lot, and I think at some point, if we get it done, I mean, if, if we indeed accomplish that, it will really mean something. It'll really mean something, all right. And uh, next week in California, Cigar gets his chance to break Citation's record at uh, the famous Del Mar track, which was once owned or part owned by Bing Crosby. And it's a $1 million race, the Del Mar Classic. It look, it's just a super effort to do what he's doing in, in modern day because I, I think the, the standard of horse is better these days. Also interesting is... Uh, the, the turf and the dirt. He was just no good on the turf. And, and the Americans and Australians, for that matter, th that are looking at pedigrees are now saying we can breed horses, or the Americans in, in general are saying we can breed horses to actually either bre be bred to run on the turf or bred to run on the dirt. Also, Simon, I think Dane Hill and um, the sire of um, Palace, and Music. Palace Music arrived this week from overseas. Yeah, they do. To stand here. They shuttle in this weekend. Mm. Pretty valuable horse flesh. Very. And there's a valuable commercial break coming up, and we'll see you after this.